Did you know that not only can you select individual pieces of audio here in GarageBand, but you can actually use multi-select to select a whole bunch of audio at once? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome back to my GarageBand Quick Jam series where in just a couple of minutes I show you a cool feature here in GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad. Now in this one, if you already know this, you're going to be nodding along with me. If you don't, I'm about to change your world because you may be aware that if we tap on an item here and we tap again, we have all of these options. We can cut, copy, split, we can do a bunch of stuff on just that item. But did you know that we can also select a bunch of different items? The way we do that is we tap outside like this and then we drag this big rectangle over all of our items and then these are all selected so if we want to move them we just tap and hold and we can move everything together how cool is that what if we want to split these items no problem we can tap on just one of them now if we tap the split button up here we get our split head if we move this to say bar four here drag down look at that we have split all of these tracks at exactly the same spot. Very, very cool. We can even do funky things like looping. Let's just do another rectangle here. We'll tap all of these together. We'll tap again. Now, if we hit the loop option here, it loops all of these to the rest of our track. So you can see here, it's very powerful. It's a very cool way to select everything and manipulate our audio here in GarageBand. But there's another way to do it, which I'm going to show you now. So we're here in a more complex track. Now, usually you'll be able to use that same method because you'll have this bottom area if you want to select everything. But what if you want to only select a couple of tracks here? Well, what we can do is if we tap and hold with one finger, we can then grab a different finger and tap any other items here like this, and they will all now be selected. And anything we do to these now will only impact these items that we have selected. To unselect, we just tap out of there and we're back to selecting individual items so it's a great way if we want to impact a couple of different tracks at once we can use this method to select say just these two tracks and if we wanted to adjust something in here we wanted to come in we wanted to split we wanted to use any of these options we can manipulate all of these tracks and even move them around just by selecting them using multi-select Let's finish up with a practical example. So let's just say that this drum track, I wanted to move over to bar one. Now, ordinarily I could tap and drag each one of these individual pieces and it's gonna take me a long time to do all that, yeah? But let's undo that, undo, undo. What we can do is tap outside here, drag a big rectangle across all of these, tap on this one, drag it over to bar one, and there you go, they've all moved together. I hope you can see how powerful this is, being able to select not just one, but a whole bunch of different pieces of audio and manipulating them all together. If you want to check out some more videos here, there are two links down below. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the studio like icon in the top right corner, and I will see you, you, on the next video.